What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com and I'm on my way down to the D, Detroit, to visit my old neighborhood and I just want to see the house that I grew up in for like almost 20, well a little over 20 years. I grew up in this house and I just want to see it and see what it looked like. I haven't been down there in a long time. So right now, as you can see, I'm riding around a golf course and um, I live out in the suburbs. Metro Detroit is what they call it. So I live in a suburb outside of Detroit and I'm possibly looking for an opportunity to move back into the D. Um, the prices is right especially downtown Detroit. Um, the biggest obstacle is that I got a, a eight-year-old daughter that I have to take into account. So schools are very important. So that's why I'm out here right now. Um, but the biggest thing for me at this point today is just to visit the house that I grew up in, see what's going on in the neighborhood. It wasn't much going on then. And then, you know, play about here after that. Going around this bend, it's a really, really nice uh, place to ride, even though the roads used to be a little better. Um, it's a lot of lake houses and stuff like that up here. New construction. So yeah, it's easy riding out here. I love it. Hey, I'm about to show you the middle school that I went to. It's right there. It's actually a private school. It's a really good school. It's called uh, University of Detroit Jesuit. And I went there for 7th uh, and 8th grade. And it was really a phenomenal experience. It's an all-boys school. And I, I recommend anybody who wants their children to take schooling seriously, to consider private all boys schools. That one is a Catholic, even though I'm not necessarily Catholic. Tom Dog was a track star and a basketball star, so yeah, man, that's a great school. Right off Seven Mile. And this is my street, baby, Green Line. I had best friends that used to you know, I'm one block over from my house. I had best friends that used to stay over here. I had a girlfriend that used to stay right there. She don't stay there no more, obviously. My homeboys used to stay right there. I had a homegirl that stayed right there and a homeboy that stayed right there. I think he still own that house. And that's my house, my old house. Oh my God, it looks so bad, bro. And there go my old neighbor, Bernard. <laughs> he still look the same. Look at him looking at me. Yeah. You, you good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Is that your son? Oh my God. He is huge. Man, it ain't been that long. What's happening, baby? Yeah. Chilling, man. What's the word? What's up, little man? I remember when you was a little baby, man. <laughs> yeah, you did. Hey, Nard, can I walk in the yard to see what the the back? It looked totally different from what. Oh my God! Look at that, bro. It wasn't like this. My house used to be beautiful. I hope I can dig up some pictures that I can include with this video um, to kind of show y'all what it looked like. But look at the garage, bro. The garage is on the ground. Like, honestly, that is literally depressing. I This is where I was raised right here on the basketball court. All this was, uh, all this is concrete. It's overgrown now, but it's a whole half court that extend back. And my dad, he built this 
um, so that me and my brothers and ultimately the entire neighborhood had a place to stay and play and uh, have a good time, you know what I'm saying? And we were safe, and I, I was a monster. That's why I wound up making the teams for the middle school and all of that that I played for, and I was I was a beast. I stopped growing. I wound up topping out at like 5'7", so that kind of ended my basketball career. But look at this, man. Look, my, my dad and his brothers and my, my mom's uh, brothers spent a lot of time building this. You know what I'm saying? It almost... It's so depressing, it's like it, it bring a tear to my eye, man. Like nothing. It look at the garage, bro. My dad hand built this and put this up. I remember me and uh and my cousin and some of my brothers worked to put that up. That was way before his time. That's Joe. Uh, <laughs> I know Gene and Andre remember him. I guess I'll see what's happening. The windows, dude. My dad hand built this porch. He put so much work and blood, set, sweat, and tears into this house. I doubt if anybody is even here. It's crazy, bro. Look at this, man. Who lives like this? We should get them an application to be on hoarders. It's furniture on the front lawn. I'm afraid to walk back. To, oh, man, it's been a fire. Jesus Christ. I might have to take the helmet off for this one. Jesus. I was thinking about coming back and possibly buying this house for sentimental reasons. Not no more. Well, my parents would be interested in seeing this. Guess I can get the wide view. Time to go. It does. It really does bring a tear to my eye, man. This house should not look like this, man. It did so much for so many people and so many people in the neighborhood. Well, I'm out. Check out the rest of the neighborhood. Check it out. That used to be a McDonald's. I used to walk up to this corner store up here, and I'm gonna I'm really give you some uh, insight up here. I was carjacked right in that parking lot. That was one of the main reasons why I decided to move. I was carjacked right there. And listen, let me be clear i'm not speaking down on detroit because it's a lot of good in the city as i displayed in, in, in some of my other videos however i'm just remembering a lot that happened to me it was real life i'm not even gonna front about it they tried to kill me right there you know what i'm saying what up though yeah what's the word chilling man i gotta go bro <laughs> I ain't sticking around. These people, they don't need to know me. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to know I'm back around here. I left them around here for a reason. Town Dog ain't trying to uh, relive everything like that. See that house with the pink right there? I had a homeboy named Julio that I got into a fight with over a girl right there. Right in that driveway. That wasn't necessarily a good experience, but such as life and this is the infamous cherry lawn which I personally like to refer to as 
Ray Van Central. Used to be Ray Vans coming up and down the street. Look like it's just gotten worse, man. Look at that. It's a, supposed to be a beautiful house, you know what I'm saying? And just go bad, man. Everything just went bad. You know, it's good people that probably still live here. You know, they go to work every day, take care of their business. But this is the stuff they got to contend with. You know what's so funny? My house on Green Lawn used to be the best looking house on the block by far. And we sold it and we moved and it was almost like immediately everything just went, went south. And then that's when the recession hit and the housing crisis right after that. So we were kind of lucky with our timing. Probably a little bit more blessed than lucky. And last but not least, certainly not least, this is what we used to call the center, or rather the Johnson Center. And I scored many a points on those rims, on those rims, and on the rims in the inside. This is uh, a lot of learning to swim and stuff up here. Scored a lot of points, a lot of lifting weights, all of that. It's bad now, they didn't, look at all that ripped out, toe up. They didn't have it shut down forever. Well, let me go ahead and get up out of here. If you like my videos, rate, comment, subscribe. Holla at me at AntonDaniels.com, all my social media networks. I'll holla at y'all later. Peace.